love me, yeah, they love me. First love yourself. For that. And God we trust, trust me. I don't trust myself. Your yeah, jewelry, I get it took. No show. Welcome back to It Is What It Is. This episode is sponsored by Underdog Fantasy. The app is an easy way to make some cash just by making picks on your favorite players. Underdog is available in more than 30 states, including California, Florida, Texas, and New York, just to name a few. Make sure to support the show by hitting the link in the bio and downloading the Underdog Fantasy app. They will also match your first deposit up to $100 and you get a special pick when you sign up. Of course, I'm Treasure Wilson, aka Stat Baby, along with your host, Cam and Mace. So how are we feeling today? Yeah. If he dies, he dies. <laughs> Yo. Yo. Yeah. Yo, bro. We going <laughs> You come you came in with that cowboy hat on last week. And the cowboys lost. And you fuck with my niggas down there in Boulder. You fucking bad luck, my nigga. <laughs> you bad luck, man. You bad luck. It's all good. We'll get to the game, but yeah. where'd you get the hat from? That's all I want to know. Oregon shipped it to me. Okay. Oh. Uh, they shipped it to me. They uh, said, don't be biased. Wear the Oregon hat. Heard you. You know, Say, people count on me to tell the truth, so they figured if they told me that. Well, you're not telling the truth. I might you're tell not the telling truth. the truth. <laughs> I don't want to hear about if he dies, he dies no more, bro. That's, you, listen, I've been cutting you mad slack, man. Yeah, I, I got you. people in Seattle. Listen, I cut you slack for weeks so you could catch up. You can't. You know when you fucked up? Where? When you said Dion. <laughs> was in the Super Bowl and World Series in the same week. Them niggas, that's not even the same season. Cam, <laughs> like it's not Cam, even. Cam. No, no. Did he say it? You're drunk, did he Cam. Say you're, it? Did, you're drunk. You smell like alcohol. It is smell like liquor. It smell a bit like liquor. I had a show last night. I came here straight from the show. <laughs> All right, that's <laughs> probably why you're talking crazy. I'm gonna let you now talk I'm crazy. Judged? Yeah, I'm yeah, getting judged. Yeah, I'm getting judged on my show on our show. I'm yeah. being judged. <laughs> I am not, <laughs> I'm saucy a little yeah, bit. I'm a little saucy. It's cool. A bit. It's cool. It's, it's it does smell. Show. It does smell like expensive liquor, but it's still <laughs> liquor. You know. Sure, you guys have plenty to yeah. say. Okay, so on Saturday, Colorado took a pretty tough 42 to six loss against Oregon. This dropped Colorado mm -hmm. out of the top 25. Thoughts. I, I mean, it speak for itself. <laughs> I got the Colorado hat on. Cam is drunk. He's depressed. He smells like he's been drinking. Cam, what what happened? I told you this would be the week that defined everything. I, I did say that. I did say no matter what they can, do. Can I get a solo? Yeah. This is the we shit, were gonna I, be this able the to shit I'm talking about. He just said he had it on a Colorado hat. He don't even know what hat he be wearing. He just said, I got the Colorado hat on and it's an Oregon hat. Yeah. This is, he don't know week to week who the fuck he fucking with though. He's so confused that he just thought he had on a Colorado hat. And so yeah. you come yeah. here with the motherfucking cowboy hat on. You no, 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 no. I, I don't you care. Was going to say you that. come in, don't wear no more cowboy hats and shades. You're a jinx. Take your ass back to Florida. We don't need you in Boulder. <laughs> you don't want fucked up everything, murder, because you came here jinx and shit. Please do not support us. Don't get down with us. We don't need you in Boulder. Yo, it'll be all right, DR. See, DR told niggas he's seven, eight dogs away. And what I'm going to say is this, because DR not going to say it, because DR got to work with his team the rest of the year, and I fuck with the whole team. The whole team is my, is my niggas. I fuck with them niggas. But we need dogs on the O-line, and we need dogs on the D-line. We don't need a bunch of uh, push. And, and listen, I know y'all going to see me when I come back. Y'all may feel the way because Dion ain't going to say it. And he never told me this yeah. and he's not going to tell me this. But when Dion say he's seven, eight dogs away, he mean that O-line and he mean that D-line. We need animals. Yeah. We need niggas. We, know, we don't need the polite bouncers. We need them bouncers that's going to throw you out on your head, man. Yeah. We need them niggas, man. And listen, Oregon doing do a great job every year recruiting because they got Phil Knight down there. You come recruit at Oregon, they take you to the fucking Nike campus, off your all type of Nike shit. Buy sneakers $2, for yeah, twelve dollars. Twelve dollars. Air Forces. Yeah, they, and you know, I just felt that my man like told me they got different uniforms every game, different yeah. helmets. Or well, you know what? We got all that shit coming too. Dion said, "Get me now." Yeah, I'm wearing this hat to motivate y'all. No, you said you. I'm wearing this hat to motivate you. Listen, listen, Cam. Week, I told you we're not gonna know if they're for real 
until they play Oregon. Am I right, Stat? And and then they got to play USC. This is when you Stat, find am out I right what that you came really in here real. with a cowboy hat I and did, glasses but I'm last telling week. You, I'm wearing the hat to motivate you. I got the dipset hat, the dipset <laughs> chain on. So you know but we that's still family we still business. we what still do I got to we do still together anything? somehow. But listen, it, it, what I saw I didn't like. That wasn't a Tupac Shador I know, you know. But I, I had to think about it. You know what I'm saying? He was playing. It was like it was like Bad Boy without Mace or Dr. Dre without Snoop. You know what I'm saying? You. You probably the only rapper I like without the other group members, you know what I'm saying? But this <laughs> this this is what this is what we we're, we're up against, you know what I'm saying? It's Tupac Shador out there without, you know what I'm saying? Without Shug Knight. He needed Travis Hunter there. Come on now. That's why they pay me to come here. People want the truth, man. Are you get are you serious? And then he gets sacked seven times. Pause. Come on now. That don't happen. That don't happen when the right people are there, man. Hey, uh, Dog, I can't even argue crazy. with that part. <laughs> yeah, that face is crazy. Yeah. 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 Who wants to see Timberland without Missy, man? Come yeah. on, man. Listen, Uncle we, Luke without we, the dancers. <laughs> they showed up Uncle Luke without the dancers. I can't argue with you about none of this. This is your last statement. Yeah, listen, man. Listen, you're right. You don't, you don't got Travis Hunter. It's very big. You're missing. You're missing. These are points that can have been eliminated on defense and points that could have been scored on offense. So I do have to agree with you on that. It would at least been 38 to 10. It would at least been 38. Well, how much did they lose, by? I forgot how much they 42 lost. 6. 42 6. So they would have had 28 more points because. He would have stopped two passes on defense, and he would have probably scored two touchdowns. So that's a 28 difference that, you know, they was playing. They, they was out there without Mace. It was a bad boy without Mace. You can't you can't do that. You can't show up to the big game like that. Can't show up with, with Suge Knight, you know what I'm saying, with no Tupac. And no Tupac without no Suge Knight. I don't want to see Dr. Dre without Snoop Dogg with his hair out on the bike. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm not I don't know. Missy Elliott. It, you know, they got Timberland out there with no Missy, man. We, I don't know if people want to see that. I mean, I'm pretty sure. Tra Listen, I'm not arguing your points, but I'm pretty sure Travis, well, if he could have played, he'd been, he would have played. Um, it was tough to watch, man. It really yeah. was tough to watch. It was, it, you know, you yelling at the TV, you're screaming. Uh, listen, Coach Prom, you know, we still rocking, nigga. We got USC coming up this week. Yeah. We know the mistakes we made, but we still them seven, eight dogs away. And I know, he, like I said, I have no inside information on this, Come but on, I know. Cam, now you're seven, eight dogs away. That's No, that's what Dion said. He, this, he said that on, on the How program. How many dogs they had the first two weeks? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> See, don't, <laughs> don't no, don't what I'm saying is, me. no, he said that <laughs> when they was winning. He didn't oh, say he that. Said, okay. No, he said that on first take, but yeah, when they was shout winning. shout out to Dion. This is just for motivation. This no, is no, just no, for no, motivation. He didn't say that when they lost. He said that when they was winning. That okay. They, so, But I know what he meant when he said it, and he's not going to say it because you got to work with these players all year. But he met on the line, O line and D line, man. We need some, we need some dogs down there, man. So, Coach Prom, it's all good. We'll be back in Boulder real soon. Um, I think we got we got to look at the schedule, but we'll be back in a minute. Hopefully, we come for this USC game, and we gonna practice this week and get ready for them niggas this week, man. That's that, man. But when Travis coming back, man. he out for three weeks. This yeah. was the worst time for him to get hurt, yep. man. Yeah, One of the worst Travis times. Travis gotta come back, man. Yeah, man. But uh. Yo, we love y'all. We Missy supporting y'all. Missy got to get back with this Timberland. Nigga like, <laughs> yo, this nigga. Shug, let me Shug ask you this, brother. Let me ask you something. I, Dr. You know, Dre needs Snoop, man. Yo, let, let me Bad ask you. Bad boy need Mace, man. It's a fact. I just want to ask you. You the only one don't need the members, <laughs> man. I'm, I'm trying to try. <laughs> I love I love the other members. I'm just saying you the only one been able. No disrespect to anybody Yo. out there. No disrespect. Put the camera on me. No disrespect Yo. to anybody else. You just the only one been able to pull it off pause by yourself. You know what I'm saying? How you doing? Maybe you need to tell. Yo, listen, man. I started off a solo artist actually. Oh, uh, you started yeah. out solo. Yeah, actually. 
You brought me into the game. I was a solo artist. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I <laughs> you forgot. Me, you know, I forget sometimes. Yeah, yeah, you, when, you, when you brought me in the game, I was paused. I was, I was behind you, paused underneath you, paused. And I had to do my thing by myself. So I learned to fend for myself before I was part of any group. I was a solo artist. So I understand what it takes to be a solo artist. So no shade. I'm just saying I've always been a solo artist before I put a group together. Yeah, shout out to everybody else. We just saying that Cam has been the only one. Like nobody else been able to do it, you know? Yeah, man. Hey, man. It is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. Oh, man. And the one thing I will <laughs> add, obviously, Oregon played a great game, but I don't like that people took this as an opportunity to be like, okay, Dion, do you still believe? Yes, I still believe yeah. because he's changed the culture and the game, <laughs> so you don't need to take that away from yeah. him. Yes, it was a loss. They recognize their mistakes, and they're going to come back better when they can. And but that doesn't mean it's a million it's just, off his shade. Yeah, he's still making money. He's still, he's still making one of the best that, coaches that, that in college football. So. $90 million the first three weeks of college football. Yeah. And last thing I'll say for this topic is for me is that um, shout out to Oregon. Y'all, y'all played a hell of a game. Yeah. Shout out, you know, no shade to Oregon whatsoever. Y'all played a hell of and a fucking game. And the coach said the right things to motivate the team. Yeah, he did. He said they playing for he clicks. He said they playing for clicks. You know what I didn't like? Did you see when the mascot beat up the primetime <laughs> show with a stick? I was Real? like, they had a box that said primetime, like a, a, pin, a big pinata, so to speak. And the... A mascot came out with a hat on, cowboy hat, and beat it, pause, pause <laughs> this, and then his his hat came off and he ran because he didn't want to be seen. You know yeah, what I'm saying? That coach, That's what you his, get. That coach's demeanor was like like Martin Cove of um Karate Kid when when he gave him the signal to break the leg. Right. <laughs> he yeah, said, yeah. well. Right. Last thing I'll say is this. For it. Last thing I'll say is this, is this, is that Dion made a great point. Teams are not even trying to be his team. They're trying to be Dion. Yep. Yeah. It's like it's personal with me. Yeah. And what I will say is this, that um, what you coaches, and I'm going to say this to the coaches that you played and that you're about to play, take the opportunity, if you think you're better, not better, think you're going to win, lose, whatever, to market your school or your or brand, whatever you have going on, because as good as y'all, they're not going to talk about you as much as they talked about you when you're about to play Dion. Let me tell you something. Dion and them lost 42 to 6. Mm-hmm. You know who I seen doing the commercial this today in between the NFL? Dion. Dion. Yeah. Dion, <laughs> Dion next week, he's going. Chicken you, nuggets. US, USC is on the way. <laughs> USC coming to Colorado. They're advertising his games, win, lose, or draw. They are advertising Dion. So instead of you coaches hating, learn how to market and then figure out how to make the maximum of your opportunity when you play against Dion yeah. so that your school gets the proper, uh, you know, shine on the team for us, so to speak. Because Oregon, y'all niggas is good as fuck. You're yeah. not going to get as many views as you was when you play Colorado. Let's nope. figure out how to channel that so you get the views instead of just how you're doing Dion. Because I watched three different NFL games, yeah. and I seen four different USC Colorado commercials. Yep. Mm. You going to that game? Yeah, if I'm not booked, because, you know, I still get booked on the weekends. You know, you say I still do my thing by myself. I still, <laughs> I still get booked on the weekends, man. I'm still grabbing 100 a weekend. I'm not, I'm not your, pardon me, bring me, in, bring me in real. I'm not your regular sportscaster, nigga. I'm not a podcaster. I'm not your regular sportscaster. I still get booked every weekend. I'm grabbing 100 a weekend, nigga. This, this my, I'm on my fourth decade of grabbing 100 on weekends that I want to. Don't call me with $20,000 to book me. Don't call me with 20. It's 50 if I feel like it. 100, you might get me out the house. This is what I grab. So you can't even compare me and me. First of all, you think I'm bad. Murder, <laughs> murder don't need that for 150,000. But I call murder and say, look, yo, they got 100,000. Cam, do not even call me. It's 150. I say, yo, it's a 20 minute show. Cam, I don't care if it was 17 minutes and 27 seconds. The price is 150000 There's no cap. So he don't even leave the house. So don't think we just up here podcasting or sports analyzing. We still booked on the weekends, nigga. A lot of these niggas who doing this ain't booked on the weekends, nigga. I came here straight from a show. I smell like liquor. <laughs> 
man. Shout out to Dre is too. Underdog, all them niggas, man. We appreciate you, yep. man. Shout out to Dre, Missy Elliott, everybody we mentioned, you know. <laughs> Shout out to, you know, Suge Knight, you know. <laughs> you know. Pub Daddy, you know. <laughs> yeah. Bad boy. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> Say no more. She called this thing about was toxic Four years and counting Got you feeling like an option Maybe I'm my own problem, babe She tired of hearing I don't know My stubborn in me won't fall, oh, oh Dealing with this thing called trust But she really thinking about She wanna be free Okay, well now we are joined by our special guest, Le'Veon Bell. Le'Veon, yeah. what's up, man? <laughs> what's good, baby? Yo, thank yeah. you for coming, man. Hey, no, pause. Thanks for having me. Nah, you yeah, pause. <laughs> yeah, I said yeah, pause. Hey, 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 let me know. Yeah. <laughs> I already know right now. Let me get used to this shit, right? Now. I said pause <laughs> off the top. I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm going to catch up to everybody. Right away, God damn. Let me ask you one thing. My first question. How does it feel when you knocked out Adrian Peterson? <laughs> <laughs> we gonna start with that. You knock that nigga out. He supposed to be rumble tumble running back, run niggas over all that crazy shit. How did that feel Bruh, knocking that nigga out? Like I done did a lot of fucking. I done did a lot of great shit in my life, bro. I ain't right. gonna lie. Like even scoring game winning touchdowns and shit, mm -hmm. bro. That feeling tops everything, bro. Real shit, yeah, bro. Right. Because it's like. You train and you prep for all this, but and this is my first fight, so right. I didn't really know what to expect for real. Right. And um, I kind of set him up with the punch, and then even when I hit him with the punch, I didn't feel like I even threw it that hard. Right. So I hit him, and then when I turned around, I just kind of seen this motherfucker melting. I'm yeah. like, damn, did I just knock this nigga out? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was I'm like, strong as fuck. Right. Yeah. What's <laughs> like, damn, 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 Bruh, like and that shit, bro. You know when I seen the ref like waving his hands and shit, I'm yeah. like, bro, like that little feeling. I, I can't even describe Better it. Better than like, first team all pro, all that. Yeah, bro. Cause the moment, it's like the moment. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? It's like right. that moment. It's like don't get me wrong. First team all pro, a great accomplishment. Like, right, right, right. But like a game winning touchdown, it's like a moment. It's like one of the moments. Like, right. bro, I feel crazy. You know what right. I'm saying? Right. But even like that knockout just topped that moment. It was right. like. Like, cause I ain't never really just clean knocked the nigga out with some gloves on, right, just right. knocked the nigga out, had he melt. Like, right. not only that, nigga bigger than me, right? Supposedly more athletic and right, all this yeah. shit. You know what I'm saying? He was a rumble right. tumble nigga when he was playing. And don't get me right. wrong, I look, I idolized AP. You know what I'm saying? Right, I right. <laughs> it's gonna sound crazy when I say this, but I didn't mean to knock him out. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I was just it. trying to fight the nigga. You know what I'm right, saying? It's right. like I ended up, you know, what I'm saying? throwing that punch. Right. And catching him perfectly, bro, and melted him, bro. Right. It's like, yeah, that feeling was crazy, bro. I ain't gonna lie. That's crazy because you have a lot of great accomplishments. So for that to be at the top of a lot of your accomplishments, that's that's really big, man. Nah, real shit, bro. Like, because I just feel like it, it, it really because of a lot of the preparation I put into it, too. Cause right. Like, what I say about boxing is this, is that boxing, look, all sports where it's not a team sport, I give mad credit to, like, yeah. boxing's number one because... Look, as a basketball player, I've seen the top basketball player in shape. They can only go six rounds because you get a minute. You know, basketball, you take a playoff. You can throw. It's going to be free throws. It goes out of bounds. This is three minutes and one minute in between where you cannot stop. Tennis, yeah. I give a lot of props to. Swimming, I give a lot of props to because those are not team sports. You can't rely on anybody right, else. Right. So I give a lot of credit to that, man. And that's something I learned, too, because, like, growing up playing a, a team sport, right, like, literally my whole life, since I was four and a half years old, I started playing football, and then, like, switching over into an indiv individual sport, I felt, like, literally, like, damn, if I lose, it's all on me. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. If I win, damn, it's all on me. You know what I'm saying? It's really all in the preparation how far you want to take it. And, right. you know, that's what's, you know, great about people like Serena and, like, mm -hmm. Michael Phelps or Usain Bolt or some shit like that, because they, right. like, or Floyd, because it's, like, they know, like, exactly how far they had to take it, so, like, they mindset and how special individual they are, it really get to show in a special, in, like, in a uh, individualized sport. You know what I'm saying? Get to show right. um, a lot more than they do in a team sport. Absolutely. Yeah. So let me ask you this. You held out for a year and turned down 14 million. 
and some change. Yeah. A lot of us would be like, yo, 14 million, man. What the, what the fuck? You know, Antonio, we, he, he was up here talking about the money he missed out on. Tell us the reasoning behind why you did that. So in 2018, the year I set out, mm -hmm. the, the biggest reason I did that was, the main reason was respect, for one. Mm -hmm. um, in 2017, the year prior to that, um, already this was, this was my that was my fourth year. Um, already had played three years. Coming, I was a second round draft pick, so I already had played on my um, full extension of my whole contract. Right. So the year before that, even before my fourth year, we were already kind of talking about an extension, right? The extension didn't happen for whatever reasons, blase blase. But it was fine because I'm thinking like, oh, don't worry, next year we're gonna get it done. So I'm coming into my fourth year, um, and coming into my fourth year, we having the contract talks again. It doesn't work, but this this the year I kind of sit out, but I come back for camp. So I sit out at first. I'm threatening to like sit out for the whole year or whatever. But I'm like, you know, my teammates talking to me via text message, calls, all these things like that. I end up coming back, right? And I'm talking with upstairs too. Keep in mind, I'm like going back and forth with upstairs, explaining them my side about, man, y'all just give me this much carries. I only got, you know what I'm saying, blase, blase. So that year go by, I come back. Um, the 2017 year, I have a great year. The 2017 year, we go to the playoffs. We end up losing to the fucking Jaguars. We shouldn't have lost, but right. we lost to the fucking Jaguars. Um, and then now, it's like time for talk, talks again for the, all right, now it's time for me. All right, I done played on the franchise tag because I didn't even want to play on the franchise tag because that's dangerous for a running back. You see what happened to Saquon, Saquon Barkley already. Right. Um, so you play on the franchise tag. It's basically a one-year deal, fully guaranteed. So that year was for 14 and a half. Right. And it was high. And and thankfully, it was only that high just because of how hard I was fighting for it, for real. Right. Um, so I played on the tag the one year. The second year was 14 and a half. The second year, I'm like, man, I ain't coming back in camp after just after camp because I did that last year. So now I feel like y'all really just not. They trying to play you. Yeah, they trying to play me. So mm -hmm. and, and then the 13 and a half, they were offering me, right? So they offered me 13 and a half in 2017 for five years. So basically, the APY would have been 13 and a half. I was asking for 16. If if we'd have met somewhere around like 14 and a half or 15 for the APY for over the course of the contract, I obviously would have signed it. Been no sweat, no problem, right? But they didn't want to move off of that. So I'm thinking like, okay. And at that time, they was only guaranteeing only guaranteeing me $17 million for five years. Right. So basically in my first year, I'm only playing on the franchise tag, even though it would be an extension. Right. But it's really a franchise tag because they only guarantee in that first year. Year two, year three, year four. None of that's guaranteed. So, heaven forbid, if something happened to me, you know what I'm saying, and, you know what I'm saying, football's a dangerous sport, you don't ever want anything bad to happen, and you don't ever plan for anything bad to happen, but it's a dangerous sport, so you got to expect, you know what I'm saying, or things will be... I get what you're saying. Yeah, you you know got to prepare for the... Pray for the best, prepare for the yeah, worst. because literally, I literally... The year before that, I literally seen Ryan Shay's ear, like, literally, like, on the field with me, you know what I'm saying? Like, so, I seen how dangerous a sport can be. So... I obviously just wanted my guaranteed money just to protect myself. Like, all right, well, shoot, let me just get more than the guaranteed money from the first year. Let me at least get the first three years guaranteed. Like, goddamn. Or if y'all only want to guarantee the first year, at least make it half the contract or something. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm basically, like, basically trying to get them to up the guarantee money gotcha. or up the APY. They didn't do neither. You know what I'm saying? So I'm thinking like, shit, fuck it. I ain't coming, bro. Because y'all ain't really trying to fuck with me for real. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? And, um, I sat out that year, blase, blase. I ended up signing with the Jets. The Jets, the APY, was uh, ended up being like 13, 13 and 8. But my guarantee, my guarantee APY, was... APY, could you explain that? My annual per year. So, okay, got you. Just yeah, so got, my fault. Got so you. my annual per year, basically I make base salary, right? Right. Um, so, but with the Jets, they gave me the guarantee that I was asking for. Right. So it was easy. It was like easy to sign with that. Because it's like, and at that time, it was like I was... Going like it was, I don't even want to tell y'all the teams. I was kind of like <laughs> torn between because it's like hindsight twenty twenty. I'd be like, damn, why the fuck you ain't signed with them? But like, right, right, you know what I'm saying? But like at the time, it's like, damn, I just sat out that whole year, so I got to make a like a contract and make it about the money. It's like, damn, I I done sat out this whole year, so I got to get my my guarantee, my contract about who offered me really the most guaranteed because that's what I was harping on the whole time. Mm -hmm. So I ended up signing with the Jets, and plus at that time, I felt like. It was my time to really show like how good of a football player I was. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. 
I believed in myself more than more than anything. You know what I'm saying? I still I still do to myself just because of the fact that like I know what I I'm, what I was capable of doing, and just the certain situations happen. You know, in football. You know what I'm saying? Like coaching changing and player positioning, all that makes football teams. You know what I'm saying? And I was in definitely a perfect position in football with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Um, and then when I switched with the Jets, people couldn't really see it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because maybe the coaching and the people around me, it didn't look the same. You know what I'm saying? So If you want to take that air piece out, like, you don't really mean it. Yeah, it's yeah. up to you because I, I have the same yeah, problem. Say, I got shit. Yeah, my fault. No, nah, you good. But, yeah, that's basically what it came down to. It was like, shit. When I went, like, I ended up signing with the Jets, I realized, obviously, when I'm there, like, damn, this ain't the environment I want to be this in. This ain't the Steelers. Definitely ain't the Steelers. <laughs> yeah. Definitely ain't the Steelers. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I ended up leaving the Jets. They ended up releasing Joe Douglas as a great GM. Um, he showed his love, you know what I'm saying? Because he understood the coach who, <laughs> he understood the coach for who he was. You know what I'm saying? He knew he wasn't my, my style coach. They got a new coach now. But Joe Douglas ended up letting me go, and I ended up playing with the Chiefs. And when I went to the Chiefs, it was like a great environment, great team, but um, it just wasn't those, they weren't the guys for me either just because, like, I wasn't their guy. Like, with Pittsburgh, like, when I was coming out of college, like, they was like, yeah, Le'Veon Bell, like, from Michigan State, we're going to grab him, that's our guy. Right. Versus in Kansas City, they had their guy already from LSU. Like, they drafted their guy first round running back, you know what I'm saying? So they was, like, forcing him in the game, you know what I'm saying? So I ain't never really had that chance in Kansas City the way I envisioned it. Right. Like, I vision me going to Kansas City, like, oh, I'm about to play with Patrick Mahomes, Tyreek Hill, fucking Travis Kelsey. I'm about to go crazy. Right. Andy Reid, the coach, about to go crazy, but it don't end up turning out that way. And um, I felt like, you know, saying in the recruiting process of, <laughs> you know, I was talking to Andy Reid and all the other coaches I was talking to and the free agency shit, I just felt like I was betrayed when I got there. So that ended up, that didn't end up working out either in Kansas City. Why do you feel that you were yeah. betrayed when you got there? So when I was getting recruited, I was promised a lot of things. Like I was right. promised, like right now I'm drawing up place for you right now as we speak, Facetime, showing me on the board the place. Like oh yeah, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this for you. And keep in mind, this is Andy Reid talking to me. So out of college, I, I'm a, a football player like me, bro. I've been growing up my whole life. I've never really played for I guess an offensive minded coach. I guess in a way, because every coach I went to was kind of like defensive minded. Like when we be at practice, all the coaches I be with be on defense. Like they be like with the defensive team. You know what I'm saying? Andy Reid, the only one who really be like on the offensive side. Like he watching the offense. Like we're about the offense doing. You know what I'm saying? So I knew that was an opportunity for me to put, go play with Andy Reid. Right. So and then on top of it, like the Bills is talking to me, the Dolphins is talking to me. So I'm just like thinking like. Andy Reid trumps all that shit. Like in my head at the time, Andy Reid trumps all that shit. Patrick Mahomes, Travis Kelsey, all that shit trumps that shit. And plus, they're like he's showing me all the things they're about to do with me and the, and the ways they're about to use me. So I'm like foaming at the mouth. So I'm like, shit, that's no hey, question. Yo, we gonna come the oh, way they gonna pause, use you. The <laughs> way they gonna use you and foam out. Yeah. Yeah. Let the way they gonna use you slide. Yeah. And when you goodness. start foaming at the mouth, pause, bro. Hey, hey, bro. Relax, man. Relax. Relax. That was pretty wild. Relax, man. Foaming at the mouth, man. Like, listen, we get it, but relax, relax. He was on a roll too, but that. I didn't even mean to. Yo, let me tell you something. I didn't even mean to interrupt your momentum. This is a great story. This story, Yo. no, I want to know this story. I, I don't want. I didn't want it to stop. This story is great, but it just started getting a little out of here. My bad. Yeah, that for sure. So, so listen. Damn. Yeah, you was excited was to play with Andy Reid. And, and you was joyous. He was yeah, yeah. excited was, to play like, with yeah, Andy Green, we'll and we'll, he started foaming. Yeah, we'll, 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 wow. we'll, pick, we'll pick different words. He, he's ready to play for guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right, well, basically, long story short, <laughs> long story short bro. Yeah. Shit, he had <laughs> put up a lot of plays. Right. And you know what I'm saying? I I was really, I don't even know what the hell to say. I'm no, no, to, I could not. <laughs> I, I, didn't, I didn't even read the fuck it up because you, I really, you was in the middle of a great story because I want to hear how you felt portrayed. This, this yeah, is what we was talking about. He basically just was, I mean, he told me one thing that I got there really in, like in the vicinity, in the facility now, mm -hmm. and it was another. You know what I'm saying? Then I kind of dealt with that the whole season. I, everybody was already kind of labeling me a diva because I was with the Jets and I wanted to get out of the Jets because they already wanted to give me the ball. So like, I ain't want to seem like a locker room problem. Like the right. Chiefs is already winning. 
Right. So it's like, I didn't want to seem like a distraction. So I was over there quiet. I'm just saying, I'm like, all right, whatever. Even though I'm watching fucking film and watching these running backs miss holes and how the Chiefs can be way better, but it's just like, whatever. I'm just right. sitting here just taking it for what it is. Right. And um, I played that season out. Then, you know what I'm saying, after that, bro, I went to the Ravens, probably shouldn't sign with them. And then that was it, bro. Like, right. went to Tampa. I had fun in Tampa. Tampa was cool and playing with Tom Brady. I went back just to play with Tom. Right. To try to win the ring, whatever. But we, we ended up losing. Right. So, but, but in the midst of all that, I'm focused on boxing because I'm, I'm still boxing at this time. Right. So, I I was kind of, so this is 20, what, 2021? I'm like, do I go back and play with the Ravens or I was just focus all in on boxing, you know what I'm saying? And I chose to go back with the Ravens, whatever. Played that a little bit out. It didn't go the way I envisioned it at all. Um, they ended up releasing me because <laughs> it just wasn't working out over there. It just wasn't working out. I, I didn't want to be on practice squad. Like I, I, I just felt like me personally, I might be a player who's supposed to be on practice squad. I was doing it just because like, I'm going to practice. I'm going to show y'all what I'm able to do. And now it's like, all right, for me, time to play. You know what I'm saying? Like, in practice, you only get so, so much in practice because we're not hitting. We're not tackling. We're not. Right. So the only way I can really show y'all what I'm able to do is in a game. Like, when somebody got to get me to the ground. You know what I'm saying? Like, even in Pittsburgh, like, we wasn't tackling in practice. They just knew what I was going to do in the game. I get in the game and I was snap. So, but I just really never had the opportunity nowhere else other than Pittsburgh. So, I always felt like, them. I got so much juice. I'm such a competitive person. I just know my mindset is just like, I won't stop. I won't allow nobody to stop me for whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it is I want to do. So if I feel like, damn, I want to be the best boxer, I can literally hone in and lock in and go in there and perfect my craft like no other. Like nobody else can even envision. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I got so much better in boxing in the first two years I've been doing it. And it's like now I'm ready to fight Logan and Jake and whoever it is that want to fight me just because of the fact that like, I'm that good. Like, you know what I'm saying? I just got to the point where I'm that good and I'm that confident in my ability. And football definitely didn't help me with that. Like, football didn't help me with that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong because it's like athletic ability. I done been hit by 300-pound men. Tackle. My I pause that. Right, I'm sorry. Yo, I tried, yo. Yeah. Yeah, pause, yeah, it, pause it. Pause it. Pause it. Yeah. Tackle. I even pause that, I guess. No, no. Nah, 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 football ain't take tackle. Getting hit <laughs> by 300-pound men. He's gonna let it slide, but <laughs> you understood what the consequences yeah, are. It's so crazy bad. when you hear that. So <laughs> I got used to it. Right. I, I kind of got used to it. So in boxing, like somebody grazed my chin, or like it really doesn't phase me. Which don't get me wrong, I'm not sitting here trying to box to be getting hit because like, mm -hmm. I wouldn't even be boxing if I'm trying to. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all see me right now, I've been sparring, <laughs> right. and nothing. Yeah, so. Yeah, I'm confident in my boxing ability too. So it sounds like you want to ask something, Murder. Yeah, but don't you wear paws? Don't you wear headgear when you spa? Yeah, I me mean, sometimes. I mean, so I, I do. My, I do. Have, <laughs> you're not supposed to have marks on your face. But people still get marked up with headgear. Headgear only. And which and which Logan do you think you could beat? Pause. Yeah. Which Logan? I mean, which ones are we talking about? I mean, I don't know. Paul. The the um the shorter one is is probably better. Jake. Jake. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Hey, you I could be both Jake? Of them. Yeah. I don't know about that. Why you don't know about that? I'm gonna keep it a hundred, man. Why you don't know about that? I, I I I'm I'm not talking about you, lad. This Jake, his shit's is too getting a little too phony about a minute. It's starting to get WWE. I think he paying he yeah, paying like people Anderson, to go. Up, Anderson, 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 Anderson Silver, man. Like <laughs> I want before we get to the boxing. So you're saying that you think that you could be a better boxer than football player? Because let me tell you something. You have one of the most unique styles as a running back. I used to say this before we even talked anything or before you stopped playing. You would get the ball and pause. Like, you you know how running backs get and they bust their moves? It's almost like you would hold it, pause for like two or three seconds and then decide what to do. I'm like, when I used to watch you play <laughs> with, the, with the Steelers, I'd be like, what this thing is trying to figure it out? They do this shit in the huddle? And, and it worked. that shit up. I'm and just setting that shit up. Yo, you would get the ball and you'd be at the line like, you wouldn't even go nowhere for three, four seconds before you bust a move. So I'm like, this style is kind of kind of fly. It was kind of dope to me. Yeah. It has swag to me with it. it so what, speak on that style. Yeah, because so I, I, like I said, I, I literally, I was athletic, don't get me wrong, but I didn't use my athletic ability to really like create holes. Right. Like growing up, everybody, everybody be like, 
Pause. Hit the hole, Avion. Hit the hole. Hit the we, hole. You got you got you two know? pauses. We ain't gonna pause you no more. Okay? Right, you know Unless it's just outrageous. <laughs> yeah. Hit the hole. Hit the hole. So, so like growing up, you hear everybody. That's the, everybody's thing. Like when you're running the ball. Right. But for me, I always feel like all right. The hole. If it's that small, I feel like I can I can make it bigger. You know what I'm saying? If I can I can manipulate defenders. So. Mm. All I got to do is, like, just look this way, and this defender going to run that way because he's going to try to make the tackle. Like, and I did it all the time. Like, I'll right. be standing here. I just run slow. I'm literally just look that direction. He like, oh, he about to run over there. And they dumbasses run over there every time, and I just <laughs> hit the hole. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. and that's what I did. I just started perfecting it, like, from age four, five, six, all the way up to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, thought that, I thought that style was fly. I thought it was really dope. And that's why in boxing, it's, like, the same thing. You, It's crazy. A lot of people say my style is so unique, and I think boxing is the same way because right. when people are going to see me box, mm -hmm. it's the fact that I perfected my style now, people are going to see me and be like, I ain't never seen nobody box like that. I'm going to say this, uh, Lave. I think you bugging with the boxing that you could be. you probably be Jake Paul <laughs> and them niggas. <laughs> You can't start at 29 boxing. These champions, be, I'm not going to doubt you. You're some super duper athlete. I would love for you to prove me wrong, but these niggas be starting at eight, nah, nine years I old. I feel you. No, I you completely know, yo, feel you. You're going to say it, Tommy, that you're going to be, you first team, she just read your stats off. Your accolades in boxing are going to outshine your accolades in football? That's what they say. Out, outshine? <laughs> I can't say it's going to outshine, but I feel like if I keep going in the direction with the boxing and don't come back to the football, if I just keep going back to the direction of the boxing, yeah, people gonna, at the end of it, when, at the end of my box career and they're going to come back to the end of my football career, it's going to be like comparable. you be like, damn. Well, know, this is what you got to start doing. You got to play catch up. I know that's all it is. is. That's, and that's what it is. It's all it you is, is catch up. Now, don't get me wrong. Jake Paul and, and his brother, they they skipped a lot of boxes because they, they're they great marketers. Right. Yeah. And they was right. already YouTube stars and do rap albums and do songs and so on and so forth. So right. they skipped. They great businessmen. Right. For you, and I say, it sound like I loved hearing everything you saying. Like, you're a great businessman. That's why you didn't rush to get to go back to the Steelers or why you let the yeah. Jets or you didn't want to be a problem with the Chiefs and you think you just right to win a Super Bowl. Everything you just said, I'm like... Like, even when Antonio came up here, a lot of people don't hear y'all guys' side of the story. Right, right. So they feel like, yo, nigga, just is an asshole. He's a fuck up. That's why I love that we have this opportunity to bring you guys up here so that you could tell your side. So the, the general public opinion don't think that you guys are just fucking crazy. Right, right, right. That's what they, that a lot of times they just think that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm happy that you explained all that. Yeah, people don't be understanding, like, what we go through actually in the NFL. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. Even like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm glad you brought A.B. up because he's like a player who like have to hold so much back. Like, right. and he, and especially when you feel like you can do so much for a team or you can do so much like on the field, whatever. Mm -hmm. And then it's, you feel like, damn, they not letting me do it. Or like, damn, I can't do it. I'm not able to do it. You know what I'm saying? Then it's like different. Like, it, it, people on the outside that don't really know what's going on, it, it, you look crazy. Like, Right. Let me ask you this. So... Mace, do you have anything you want to say? Yeah, I wanted Sorry. to ask you when you when you say can't like you don't think you could have won them over in any of those teams? You think each time it was their fault? Nah, it's I I think all of them is my fault. Like I I don't put blame on nothing. I don't put blame on the Steelers. I don't put blame on the Jets, um, Tampa, like nowhere because at the end of the day they were all like learning like experiences for me. So yeah, when I left the Steelers or whatever whatever that case was, like, I learned, like, oh, damn, like, shit, when I went to the Jets, damn, man, they ain't like the Steelers, like, damn, like, I probably shouldn't have left here. <laughs> I learned that shit quick. Yeah, what could you but, have done there that you think you could have done? Where? At the Jets or Steelers or any team you are. What, what with could the Jets? you Okay, so once I left the Steelers, right, I feel like with the Jets, I probably could have stuck it out a little longer. Well, hindsight, 2020, because I feel like maybe if I stick out that last year, they're going to get rid of the coach. And that's what ended up happening. Like, I ended up leaving because I'm already mad because the coach, I couldn't deal with the coach. Mm -hmm. But then that same year when I left, they ended up getting rid of the coach anyway. I feel like, damn, like, shit, I, ain't, I shouldn't have left. Like, I probably should have just stayed with the Jets. They got rid of the coach and then probably stick it out with the next coach, form the, form the team right there, and then see what happens there. You know what I'm saying? Or even when I go to the, even when I get released from the Chiefs, I mean, from the uh, Jets, and I go to the Chiefs, maybe stick it out with the Chiefs. Like, shit, like, but I was... I think I was to the point where I got 
I got to get back to Le'Veon Bell in Pittsburgh. Like, I got to get back to, like, you know what I'm saying, that first team all pro level. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And right now, these teams ain't using me that way I need to be used. That's what I'm thinking. So, and at the same time, I'm not trying to be a distraction. So, when I get to the Chiefs, I'm mad because, like, damn, you show me all this shit on the board. I talked to him on the exit meeting, too. Like, I was telling him basically how I felt. And then um, I was like, you tell me all this stuff on the phone, and then we get in the season, you ain't used me the way you said and then he was like, basically telling me, like, well, we're going to get to it, but you end up getting hurt and this, that, and the other. And then I was like, all right, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Then me and Andy Reid kind of had our little fallout a little bit. Yeah. And I kind of called him out on social media. But when I'm thinking about it, hindsight, he's like, if I just stick that out, maybe the next year, he we start getting around to the way that he wanted to use me. You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe mm-hmm. he didn't really know how, how to coach me yet. You know what I'm saying? I'm just thinking, like, bro, Plug me in, bro. Let me do this, do that, and the other. But it's like now I'm sitting back looking on it. It's like I know why he wasn't like that because he already had his guys. He had his guys. I wasn't his guy. Like Mike yeah. Tomlin, like I was his guy. I wasn't his guy. Like Travis Kelsey was his guy. Patrick Mahomes was his guy. You know what I'm saying? Clyde, Clyde Edwards Hilaire was his guy. He had his guys that he drafted, handpicked, and put on his team. That's like, damn, I know you Le'Veon Bill, but it's like I'm about to just Throw you in there with my guys, like, you know what I'm saying? Which I understand, like, now it's like sitting back. It's like, now I understand, but I feel like as the next year when other guys left, I'd have been more of his guy because I've been like, all right, year two, I've been more comfortable with him. Year three, the year after that, maybe even more comfortable after that, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like it's, it was always learning stuff that I could have did. And um, I don't regret it because at the same time, it made me have to learn those, you know what I'm saying, those mistakes that I made. And it helped, helped me put more of like a, a chip on my shoulder, like, let, let me ask you this real quick. That was a great answer and great question, Mace. Um, so the last week or two, we seen you and AB um, hanging out on uh, Detroit, everywhere else, well, on, hanging out. Before the last two weeks, what were you and AB's relationship? No, we know you guys played together, but AB came up here and he said something. I, I don't know if it's good or bad or whatever. He said something about you. And you DM my man Bub right away, like I need to get up there and respond to what AB said. So, were you guys cool before whatever he said on the show, or did yeah. you guys just get super duper cool again after what he said? No, 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 no. Me, AB always been cool. Always okay, been cool, cool. Yeah, cool. cool. Like, I, like AB always been my guy. Just like I, when he said that, because mm-hmm. I know y'all got a big platform, big best right. platform. Like, no, I appreciate it. So when he said that, I know like it's gonna get traction. People gonna hear it. A certain way. So I'm like, nah, let me clean that up. Right. Got you. Even AB probably don't fully understand where I was coming from. You right. know what I'm saying? Got you. So it's like, yeah, I want to get on there and be able to clean that up and say my side on. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm glad you even asked me because right. it's like, I don't want people to just think like, oh, he just missed out on it. But I was like, which, yeah, I guess you can put it in a sense like I did miss out on that year um, of football, but I'm just thinking about the long game. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody so caught up in like a year. You know, in like a short term, it's like life is really like, I'm mean, saying, don't get me wrong, like life is short, but it's like long at the same time. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I got so much time and so much things I got to do, like so much more things to accomplish. And <laughs> people will sit back and act like I can't go make 14 and a half more million. Right. Like, I wouldn't have bet on myself if I didn't think I could go do that. Right. You know what I'm saying? I would have just wouldn't have sat out. If I just felt the need to like, oh, I got to go out there and got to do it, like I went out there and did it. You know what I'm saying? But I'm to the point where I feel like I know how to make money. I'm not worried about the money they're giving me. It's like, you already gave me enough money. I can go use the money y'all gave me already and go make my own money. You got something else, Rick? I, I have one more question. I know Stad had a question. Uh, my last question is, <clears throat> excuse me. I know, and just sitting here listening to you, I know you're really focused on your boxing career, but do you ever keep yourself in football shape? Like, we just seen Kareem Hunt get picked up by the Browns. And he That's grabbed. Crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, you know, damn. Yeah. I didn't know he just got picked up because I, I was just looking on the, like the little uh, ESPN thing. And I seen Kareem Hunt on the name thing. I'm like, damn, he was on the Browns the whole time. So you're just saying he got picked up. After, so he's off the street. Yeah, I know I'm in better shape than Kareem Hunt. Is that what you're getting at? No, that's what I'm trying to say. I'm not mm-hmm. saying that. I, if you're in boxing shape, definitely. I know <laughs> sure. it's different type of shapes. It's basketball shapes, football shape, everything. But you're only 31. Or how do you? 31. 31 years old. Mm-hmm. You're still not saying you're super young for a running back, but your time isn't up. You haven't been hit pause the last two, three years, so you still have 
a couple years. In football life, you're probably 27, 28 years old. Do you think that you still have a chance to go to the NFL if they gave you a shot? I do. And okay. I think I still could play at a very high level, like as high as I ever played, just because of the fact that, like, <laughs> the way my body feels. Right. People don't, people don't understand, like, what healing can actually do. Time, time off, and just, like, actually healing your body. Football puts so much on your body. You know what I'm saying? Like, even that time off when I had a... Um, the my holdout. When I had that time off, I learned during that time off I wasn't really taking care of my body. Like when I was holding out, and I was not just because I wasn't at practice every day or I didn't have games. I still should have been getting my massages. I still should get my treatments and still be taking care of my body as if I was doing that, but I wasn't. You know what I'm saying? Versus now, when I'm not playing football, it's like I'm taking care of my body every single day. Like in the boxing, I feel like it's just low key, just a workout, an extra workout for me to be ready for football when it's that time again. You know okay. what I'm saying? Gotcha. Okay. I got two questions. So, okay. In 2019, Juju Smith said in his dream world, he would have you as the running back with James Conner. He'd have AB say on the other side, y'all would win the Super Bowl with the guys that you have. Out of all the teams you were on, would this be your favorite lineup? And are you and Juju still close? Um, Yeah, me and Juju still talk. Uh, I haven't talked to him in a little minute, but like we, co- we, we kind of cool. Uh, me and him got the same... Uh, not agent, but same marketing guy. Mm-hmm. And then um, the best team, damn, I think our, I think our best team was probably 2017, even though we lost. Okay, but I think 2017 probably was our best team. Okay, and then last one. So you had some back and forth on Twitter about like athlete versus influencer boxing. So you tweeted, Nate Robinson is just athletic. He definitely ain't no athlete. I feel like all <laughs> Nate can do is hoop. So you want to elaborate on that statement? All right. <laughs> So if somebody you knock Nate the fuck out, basically. You saying like, that's what you basically said. He's like, just because Jake Paul did it, you knock the nigga out. So, all right. So I got more info on the Nate Robinson thing. I guess okay. he was a football player too, but still, okay. You can be an athlete. So being an athlete and being athletic is two different things. Okay, I feel like he's a guy who's athletic. He's like very athletic. The reason why I don't say he's really an athlete, even though he played two sports or whatever, but athlete, I mean, like. You can just pick it up and you just go do it. I feel like when I watch him box, <laughs> there's no way you can be an athlete. There's okay. no way. Like, because the way you were boxing, <laughs> you like you can't just pick it up and do it. Like, it was terrible. So, yeah. But I, I, but I, I want to I want to ask you about that. You, I think Nate was for five nine, five eight, whatever. You, I think he was a very, very good, decent basketball player. Maybe mm-hmm. so. Is he skilled in one ath, ath in one sport and not athletic? That's what you're saying. You're athletic. Just, you're skilled in basketball, but you're not so an overall more, athlete. Yep. Yep. Okay. Got yep, you. Yep. Exactly. Because basketball was more his sport. So of course he had to get his little skills, but he ain't really that athlete like Steph is. <laughs> And what makes stuff more yeah, of an athlete? Yeah, that's what I'm about <laughs> right. to say. That. Yeah, yeah, because, yeah, give me a, okay, because I'm not talking about Steph being athletic. Mm-hmm. Athletic is like bouncing, what? jumping, crazy jump. Nate Robinson, he athletic. Right. But an athlete, I mean, like, he's locked in. You see how, like, like Steph is, like, locked in. He's, like, one of them people, he's so skilled at what he does. So you can tell if he picks something up, he can do it. You ever seen Steph golf? Yeah, he's good at golfer. Because he, he, cause he can pick it up and do but it. But could he play football? I, I think he could. You think I, he could I think, yeah, that's I think two Steph, sports. I think yeah. Nate played two sports. But I, I seen. Have you seen he, Steph? I seen Steph run a little go ball though. Yeah, I seen yeah. Steph run a little go ball so on could, Instagram. Could, could Football, he, run a little go ball. Is he a good swimmer? <laughs> <laughs> is he a good swimmer? I ain't never seen him swim. But if I had to put my money on it, if he could or he can't, I bet he could. I think Nate because be him yeah, is swimming. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You'd I think, never seen Nate swim. Yeah, you think mm-hmm. he would do well in football? You think Steph would do well at football? In the NFL, no. But exactly. I think I think I think if you just put him out there with some hoopers, like basketball players, I think Steph would be a good football player for the basketball players for sure. At what pause? At what position? Power receiver or DB. He don't like contact. You don't gotta have contact receiver and DB. You don't gotta have contact. None of them dudes like contact. None of them DBs and receivers like contact. You might get one or two that like. Yeah, I'm gonna contact. do some more homework <laughs> yeah, on this yeah, on yeah, this, yeah. this yeah, theory, yeah, this man. Real talk, sketchy. real talk. I'm telling. Nah, okay. think about it. Give me who who your like Usain Bolt, super athletic. This sounds sketchy. I yeah. gotta, they <laughs> count you know? on me to tell the truth, you know? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, so when I talk, I got to tell call the truth. Call me out on it. I'm just saying. All like right. LeBron's super right. athletic. Um, they asked what people on the on the thing I asked, and what about, what made you do OnlyFans? To do, I guess, like, <laughs> what's the word I'm looking for? Because I don't, I don't be on there doing nothing crazy on there. <laughs> 
It wasn't for the money. What made you? No, nah, it wasn't for the money. Just what's the word I'm looking for? Are you twiddling your fingers? <laughs> like that? I'm to, you going purr I'm trying to think of a word. Shit. It's the word I'm looking for. I'm trying to like basically just like get closer to my friend, my my fans, like with your audience, like, your fans, the people yeah, yeah. who fuck with you. Yeah, like the you know only what I'm saying? fans. Like, yeah, yeah, like. <laughs> all right, this is like special for y'all. This is special for y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm only putting like certain things I put on Instagram and like Twitter and whatever. I'm on, I don't put on my OnlyFans or I won't put those on no social media. I'll just put on my OnlyFans. You know what I'm saying? Exclusive stuff. Like, yeah, I I never been on OnlyFans, but what was you selling? Like feet pictures? What was no, you I, don't sell, I don't do that. that. <laughs> I don't do that. I don't sell six feet. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Make nudes Like what you be on there doing <laughs> yeah. No I be cooling yeah. Okay Okay well I'm happy You got to elaborate on that Because I think sometimes Get yeah. twisted very informational I Yeah that. So, Let's stick around Talk some football man like, Yeah, For sure For sure So we're gonna go to break real quick When we return We will talk about the Cardinals Versus the Cowboys Welcome back. So let's get into our underdog fantasy picks of the day. Today, the Eagles will play the Bucks. Underdog fantasy has Jalen Hurts at one and a half passing touchdowns. Do you have him higher or lower? Higher. That's not higher. Not, that's, yeah, that's not even really. Yeah, that's an easy one. Higher. He's do. He's due for what, what AB said, and the nigga do for a shit on him. Yeah, <laughs> he do. Yeah, for, you said that about Watson, and he can't, and he showed up. You said he was due for a breakout game too. Yeah, he, Watson. I mean, but you know, really showed up. We'll talk about it after the picks. But uh, yeah. you you picked the right one that I, I was wrong on last week. But I'm gonna go higher. Cam, are you surprised? Yes, when you listen, when listen, Cam, are you when surprised? you say that the Super Bowl and the World Cam, Series Cam, in the listen, same listen, week. Listen. That You're was a mix-up. That uh, was a mix-up. Mix that was okay, a mix-up we'll of language. Let's go Cam. to the videotape. No, it, it was right. You're <laughs> oh, right. So you said it. You're you right. I did say it, but it was a mix-up of language, Cam. You know, it I'm, was English. I'm an encyclopedia <laughs> it was, it was when it English, comes to sports. It was sports. only one language. It, I'm actually a. You said a, he a, went, a you real was confident expert. too. I said Dion. Dion. Went to a Super Bowl in the World Series. You said it they in the same week. That's how you said it. Cam. That's it. Cam. You know I'm an expert. No problem. I'm up there with Mike even, Wilborn in them. I hear you, man. The world is about you. to take notice. When this the is world all been said and done, notice. the world when is all notice, said and done, it'll be like Mace Madden and all of that. It'll be a Madden. It might be something like that. I might have to make up my own team. Now you want to be mad. Listen, no, I'm just listen, letting man. you know I'm, I'm, I'm up there. I'm going higher. I'm, I'm up there. Higher. I'm higher. Higher. Okay. On the Bucks side, Baker Mayfield is at 226 and a half passing yards. Do you have him higher or lower? He's the, waiting for me. Higher. I, I'm, I'm actually not <laughs> waiting for you to do anything. <laughs> I'm actually not. He's waiting for me. Listen, you, you know, know I figured you was I figured you was drunk, so I'm just going to say higher, <laughs> and you could follow me, so you could be right when you're Listen, drunk. You know, Ma Michael Jordan came to his games drunk. <laughs> <laughs> the grace can do it. That's, that's what I'm trying to tell you. I'm actually going to agree with you and go higher. Baker Mayfield, I think he's getting into a rhythm. Uh, he's feeling pretty comfortable down there in Tampa. I'm going to go higher. Okay. Yeah. And Mike Evans is at four receptions. Do you have him higher or lower? Let me see what Day is saying. Hold on. I want to see. I want. I want to make. Let me see Gay. what Day is Gay. saying. Gay. Gay. I want to see what you're going to say. Mike this. Evans. Now, you want me to tell you what they actually I don't said? Care. I don't need a day. I'm day. I'm all my right. own day. You want to know what they said? <laughs> what did they say? They said higher. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to go higher because Baker Mayfield <laughs> don't get to 226 without Mike Evans. So I'm definitely going to go yeah, higher. They, fantasy underdog, they, trust me. They said <laughs> they higher. Fantasy underdog, I'm who they yeah, trust. Yeah, yeah. Yo, all they do is, oh, Cam, thanks for making me that money last week. Cam, your picks was right. Hey, yo, Cam, I know you had the source. Pause. They fantasy underdog, trust me. My man Nick says, yo, you, your picks, killer. I ain't even, you, yo, you should start putting more money. I said, listen, man, I don't want to seem like I'm cheating the system and all that shit. 
fantasy underdog <laughs> trusting me and you trust me. Bub, do they DM and say Cam Picks was right? Right or wrong? Do they be like, Cam, Cam made me that, Cam made me that. I made nigga 10 rats. I made a nigga 10 rats <laughs> and a trip to Miami and a chance to win $200,000. And guess what? I'm when the one I who use you should they, trust. If you trust him, this nigga had a cowboy. They, they had a cowboy hat they, on last week and an Oregon hat on this week. And you trust him? Yeah. Him and Wallow. This yeah. nigga and Wallow. <laughs> two this is the one you trust. Trusted. I got a dipset chain on too. Yeah, now, now you deserve that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that's, family, that's family business right there. Like, that's, that's hard on. That's blood, sweat, tears. That's, that's, why, you that's, trust trust that's yeah. why you got to trust that's him. That's all them the shit. The boy right got there. an Oregon hat and, and a dipset chain. Yeah, you yeah. got to trust him. Listen, man, this Harlem business right yeah, there, man. You got to trust them. Matter of fact, get my dipset chain too out the bag. <laughs> yo, hey, yo, Mo, take my chain out the bag for it. Bring, let's make it a family, a family affair, man. But I'm going to go higher Mike Evans because Baker. May, if I go higher with Baker Mayfield, you he's might. not getting 226 without Mike Evans getting yeah. the four receptions. Okay, good choices. Make sure to download the Underdog Fantasy app and you can make your picks too. We are joined back by our special guest, Le'Veon Bell. Okay, so let's get into some of these past games that just passed. Mm -hmm. The Cardinals beat the Cowboys 28-16, to making this the Cowboys' first loss of the season. How do we feel about the Cowboys moving forward? Sad. Layton. The Cowboys are sad, bro. <laughs> you could go first if you want. The Cowboys <laughs> are my fault. Go ahead. Bro, that made me so mad, bro. Because it's like, bro, it's the one time... I'm like expecting the Cowboys to win. It's like, oh yeah, I ain't worried about the Cowboys winning. They gonna win. They gonna beat the Cardinals today. The Cardinals ain't got Kyler Murray. They got uh, Joshua Dobbs at the quarterback starting. Yeah, y'all for sure gonna win. But I'm like taking the score. They like down like twenty, like 13, 20 points. Like I'm like, what the hell? They trying to fight their way back. Dak throwing interception in the, inside the ten yard line, and I'm like, bro, y'all, y'all just threw away the pick for the game. How was you I, when the last time the Cowboys won the Super Bowl? I, bro, I don't you think was I was two. born. I, I, was I? <laughs> you was two years you old. I, I know I was old enough to remember. Yeah, you're two years old. And look, I'm mad at you for thinking that they're going to win. They beat two bum-ass New York teams. I know. You know two, what? Two you should be mad at me. New York pissed teams. off at me. I'm mad at myself. Yeah, exactly. What you, now listen, pissed off we, at you. we bring you up here for an expert <laughs> opinion. At least oh, lie. I would have been mad as hell. <laughs> at, least, <laughs> at least lie, nigga. Because at the end of the day, I oh my God. every week just this cowboy shit. And listen, they beat two bum-ass teams, the Jets, and they beat the Aaron rodgers list Jets. And now but it's like about, they whooped their ass, though. So I'm really, I be talk, thinking like, I be thinking like, oh, y'all gotta talk, be good. You know, I can't tell you, wait. I can't wait to talk to OJ and talk about they the 85 biggest yeah, defense yeah. and all that. Nah, they, nah, they poo. They Listen, poo. man. And their defense was horrendous. Poo. The, yeah. It was horrendous. Yeah, all this, they was playing oh, bully they, football, just running whenever they wanted to. I was at, exposed today. Whenever they wanted and, to. And listen, man. Why do people always week to week with the Cowboys like they killed them? Y'all would play two. Like, no. Y'all didn't play nobody good. I don't even I'm think sure. they would have beat the Jets if Aaron Rodgers was playing. Yeah. Nah, totally nah, they wouldn't beat the Jets without Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. They were so no. tired out there, you could tell Parson had to get a breather. Bro, I, bro, I don't know what the hell going on with the Cowboys, bro. Like, it's like literally the times when you expect them to like, all right, bro, they got it. That's when you're like, nah, we the Cowboys. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There's always that time. Like, nah, we the Cowboys. Listen, man. Like, damn, bro. I, if you watch our previous shows when we started this season, I said, I'm not giving these niggas no light. Week to week, they're excited. <laughs> oh, they're the best team in football. Yada, yada, yada. And I say, why do y'all keep doing this? Jerry Jones... Yeah. You get the props, baby. Yeah. For gassing hey, these yeah, people yeah, up yeah, every talk. fucking year. Yeah. Yep. You deserve the fucking props because you know how to get the hype he train got the fucking players. Go. They got the players. They yeah. got the CD players. CeeDee Lamb did his thing, though. CeeDee Lamb was ball. Yeah, CeeDee Lamb nice as hell. They he got uh, uh, Tony Pollard. He nice as fuck. Listen, let me that, tell you something. That cool? Not, not to they cut got you off. Line? You know what my favorite thing in, in, about CeeDee Lamb? Pause. Yeah. And it ain't got shit to do with the Cowboys. When that nigga was getting drafted, his girlfriend tried to take his phone and he snatched that, that shit, shit back. No. That's all I can't see. You got, I fuck with you off that. All that cowboy hey, shit. No, we focus on them. We focus on them for sure. Because you, you snatched your girlfriend. He was getting drafted. She tried to take the, 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 the second phone. He snatched that shit back to the bitch. If you ever go through my phone yeah, on dude, national TV, you thought, you thought this because I get drafted. I give you the yeah. Yeah. Just because I was happy, man. you could just get away with everything. No, yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah, no. So I don't care about all that shit. That's your biggest <laughs> highlight in the last five years, nigga. Taking your phone back. <laughs> that was tough.
Right, and not to mention the Cowboys had 13 penalties for a total of 107 yards. Okay, moving along, the Kansas City Chiefs also won their game against the Bears 41-10, to making the Bears 0-3 to start the season. What do you think about this game? Let me go. Let me go. Pause. Yeah, you, yeah. I, I think that friendship bracelet had diamonds in it, killer. <laughs> that friendship yeah, right. bracelet must have had some diamonds in it. Yeah, I, I, that looked it a little bit more than friendly. I ain't gonna hold you, bro. Jump, <laughs> I don't know how it went, but jumping in Taylor Swift's DMs and getting in the motherfucking cup. Pause. Well, I ain't even no pauses, Taylor, yeah. but. God damn, man. I'm going to start jumping in more DMs, me personally. <laughs> Somebody put one of my DMs up. Re you know, it's funny. I, DM, I must have DM this Jordy from Africa. She had the fat ass and all that. So they tried to put me on the social site, like, can't be DMing these bitches. So somebody I knew DM'd it. And I'm like, so what, man? That's what the DM is for. Right, listen, I'm going to DM you. I'm not, listen, if I'm not DMing, I'm going to DM you. I am going to DM now. Because <laughs> shit is working. That's just another way to say hello. <laughs> what Travis you doing this weekend? <laughs> Travis Kelsey, listen, that, that was out. very big for us to have Taylor Swift pull up after. I don't know how he initially tried to get out of, tried to get out of, but the, yeah, right. You're right, Mason. Might have had more than that. Rubies, pearls, emeralds. <laughs> Who the fuck knows? He might have said, though, what would Jesus do, Brace? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't yeah, know. I think he had made a joke or something. Him, he had made a joke or something, I think, a while ago saying, like, he wanted, like, she play in, like, Arrowhead Stadium or something. So, like, come yeah. see me play in Arrowhead Stadium or something. Yeah. It's like a while ago he made a oh. joke about it. Oh. Yeah, he, like, yeah, he really got her there. Right. He, he brought him out. Right. What <laughs> I'll say is this real quick to touch on the game outside of Tell Switch. Travis Kelsey, you the fucking man, bro. That, yeah. Was, yeah, that, was, that, that, was, that was big time. About the game, though, I think that first week, uh, Kelsey was out. Uh, Chris Jones, defensive guy, he was he was out. Uh, second week, they got everybody back that's on the roster that's important. They got a little bit comfortable, and this week, they look like they're running on full cil all cylinders right now, and the Chiefs look like they're the Chiefs that they need to be for this season. Mesa's team. Yeah. <laughs> play well today. That's what I was thinking about while you were saying that. Yeah, I know. They look like Mesa's team. Yeah, I know. <laughs> they look like yeah. Mesa's team. Yeah, 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 yeah. man. Yeah. He jumped around the bandwagon. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Anybody. Mesa's team. Yeah. You see what's going on over here? You see the vibe? What do you think about the Chiefs this year? Um, I think they can go to the AFC Championship Super Bowl. They got Patty. Let me let me ask you this because we we fight, we fight hey. about this all the time. I I, I think they will. You I think know. They will. Let, you know. Let, no no no. Go let, on record. let me ask. No, don't, don't listen to him. You let, know. Let me ask you your personal opinion. What do you think in head to head matchups? Because we both agree that Patrick Mahomes is the best in the NFL, but I think that Joe Burrow is his kryptonite. Ah. Uh, what do you think about that? We. I, I mean, I, at first, but then Pat topped. Well, pause. He topped that shit though. When? Last year, right? But it was off a penalty. It wasn't like it, Joe Burrow fucked up. Joe Burrow just was doing good. It was a penalty that prevented them from going to the Super Bowl. We got up out of there. Yeah, that's true. That's true. And, and, and at Thank the end you day, for reminding them because he won't listen day, yeah. to me. At, at, when, you play quarterback, when you play quarterback, it's like literally like say something, when they both great like that, it's about who get the ball last. Right. Whoever got that, whoever got the rock last. It's probably going to win because it's like Joe Burrow, if he got it last, he probably can go down there and score. And don't give Patrick the ball. Yeah. He for sure score. Yeah. Well, sure. he, well, he's three. You see what you said? For sure. You see what you said? Well, well he's three. For sure. For sure. Well, well, thing, for sure. Thing, Tell it the camera because I know it. He's three, sure. three, he's three and one against Joe Burrow. And oh, I, you like I, Joe? Yeah. Yeah. I like yeah. Joe. No, it's Joe. Ohio no, it's Ohio thing. Yeah. It's Ohio versus I, I like, Florida yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah and Patrick, listen, I like <laughs> it's I, Ohio I, versus I, Florida I love, and take your ass back to Florida. They're all of you everywhere. Boulder, everywhere. I like. I don't get me wrong. I like. I like Patrick Mahomes as the best quarterback in the NFL. I just think when it comes to Joe Burrow, that kid got his number sometimes. But hey, um, Tua on his way though. Tua. We Tua we gonna about to talk about that. Yeah. Also. Okay. And then on the Bears side, there's definitely a lot of concern for Justin Fields' quarterback. So they yeah. definitely got a lot of. Oh no, 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 yeah. Oh he. Yeah. He's like about crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. 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 Bro, he 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 can't see. Like I, I don't know what it is. Like I. I he had met, had an interview saying something about coaching, yeah. but it's like, bro, mm -hmm. at some point you gotta like ignore that, bro. Play football, bro, because right. like Ohio State plays so good. It's like mm -hmm. you get to the NFL, it's like you can't see nothing. 
Yeah. Like he, he, yeah, he had to play him blind. So he said something about the coach, and then he'd be like, oh, I can't blame it on the coaches, this, that, and the third. It's like, bro, yeah, what is it? But you got to go out there and either take coaching for what it is, like use some of it, but like go out there and play football. Like, you know what I'm saying? He ain't out there playing football. I feel like he out there just in his head a little bit, and he just kind of everywhere. Fumbling all over the place. Yeah, like yeah. he got to he gotta chill out. Fumbling <laughs> all over the place. He got <laughs> to chill out, bro. Like, yeah, yeah. definitely a lot of rebuilding Real to talk. do. Okay, Miami had a record-breaking game defeating the Denver Broncos 70-20. to The NFL record for one game is 73 points by the Bears in 1940, and Washington made a record in 1966 at 72 points. What do you think about this game? That was SEC versus Appalachian State. That was SEC versus, like, <laughs> Juco. <laughs> week one of that college football, Florida, though. That's that not even, Florida like, week Gators four. versus Clark Atlanta. Like, that was... High school football. That was like, hey yo, could we put the camera on, Bob? Look how happy he is. Put the <laughs> camera on. He, he a Miami fan. Look, this nigga is so yeah. ecstatic, man. Yo, listen. listen. And then, <laughs> yo, I think ball. it was yeah. seventy bomb. <laughs> yo, when listen, was that? Man. I think it was second quarter, at like ten minutes. When he be, it was like Tua became Magic Johnson. Yo, hey, I'm, hey, let me ask y'all this. Let me ask y'all this. So, who do y'all think the best player in the NFL crazy. is? Hmm? Part say again. Who y'all think the best player in the NFL is? Best player, period. Yeah, period. I like Patrick Mahomes right now, man. Okay. I like Thank Patrick you. Mahomes. He, you too? He's he's, he's, All right, he's I got an argument me. for y'all because I've been arguing yep. this with my guys. I think Tyreek Hill is the best player in the NFL. Because I feel like <laughs> when he was with the Chiefs, mm -hmm. I feel like Patrick Mahomes looked like low-key like Superman. Don't get me wrong, Patrick Mahomes still looks like Wait, 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 wait. Clark Kent. He, point, still Mark, like Clark Kent. he still look like Clark Kent. He look like Clark Kent. Right. He look like Clark Kent, but do we like Superman? Now what you got to say, like bro? Now, I feel like at first Tua was looking like Clark Kent a little bit. Now he's looking like Superman. Like, damn, he threw like two incompletions today. For like, so which one know. in Paul's is Superman? I think it's really Tyreek Hill. Today, A-Chain looked like he, he, was, he was having Who? his way too. Ooh. Whatever the guy name A Chain is that how you say his name? A Chain? A Chain, whatever on, on Miami. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. The rookie. Yeah. He was going crazy yeah, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. He went off. He went off, but everybody was going crazy. Yeah, everybody did. <laughs> He said everybody was going crazy. Niggas had eight touchdowns. It was like a blowout. Yeah. Pause, but Tyreek you know, like going crazy every week, though. This is every week, and, and, including back to last year. Let's date back to last year. It's, it's two things. I, the two things to combat your argument, real quick. Oh, yeah, yeah, go, yeah. Come back. And I and I like I love Tyreek Hill. Two things. Tyreek Hill's position pause is based on somebody else doing the right thing. So you can't be great without a great quarterback. Secondly. Okay. Secondly, one, that's what one you were saying. No, they was one, not one, using and then you the right. second thing is this: if they didn't, if they didn't win the Super Bowl last year, I might go with you and agree with that. But they won without Tyreek Hill, so I'm going to go with that. What I ain't saying say? that she's saying a better team without Tyreek Ty Hill. They still would be a good enough team. I feel like Tyreek or uh, Patrick Mahomes is still a good enough quarterback to win a Super Bowl without him. But it, I'm thinking like when it comes like okay, one player be able to change the, the, the dynamic of a whole like franchise. Like don't get me wrong, Miami was good, but like were they like this when Ty until Tyreek got there? Right. Like I mean, like because well, I mean, Tua Chiefs got there too. I mean, Tua only been there. This is third year. He didn't really play last year because he got hurt. So to me, this is. And I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm just saying to me, Tua is on some shit because they like could Tua. Like it was to a point where Tua got so bad hurt last year. It was like could he even come back to the NFL to where yeah. he's taking Taekwondo to learn yeah. how to fall and all type of shit. So not only Tyree that's Hill, last year, right? Tua is also on a mission to prove that I'm here, supposed to be in the NFL. I'm not going to get these concussions. I'm learning how to fall, mm -hmm. and and I think it's a great combination. I'm not arguing your point because if you feel that way, I get, we're going to take that. I think Tua is a great quarterback. Don't you yeah. know? I think he's like one of them quarterbacks. He's like one of them special guys. Mm -hmm. And maybe like Tyree kind of lucked up and been with two special quarterbacks. But like I'm like looking like damn, it's like everywhere Tyree, Tyree go, he like looking up. You got 200 yards, like right. three touchdowns. Well, he I'll really got to do much. It's like he like one of them players. Like he literally is scary to play because right. it's like. At any point, he can score. If he get the ball, he can score. Like, what players in the NFL? Both players on the, play for the Dolphins. It's like that. Like Waddle, then you got Tyreek Hill. They both on the Dolphins. It's like at any time they get the ball, they can score. Yeah, they was they was looking like they was playing home alone. Everybody <laughs> was just going, <laughs> like, going to the play by themselves. By themselves. Just, yeah. last, right thing I, last thing I'll say, like some bad kids. About this. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, what I will say is this: next week. It's for to see who's the toughest in the division. Yeah, who they got? The Bills. 
Okay. This is a division. That's what's up everything I need to know. Yeah, yeah. This is, know. Next week, we're going to see if that first week was just a fluke because the Bills look sensational as well. We can't talk about the Bills till OJ come because you know he's a Bills fan. So tomorrow we'll talk about the Bills. But the Bills look great. Miami's looking sensational. Mm -hmm. And this is an early, early showdown in the division to see who's going to take that division. This is what I think next week. It's a Florida thing. I think the Dolphins. I'm going to take the Dolphins. I'm a, it's oh, a Florida Dolphins. thing with Oregon. <laughs> I think the Dolphins will <laughs> go, go 15 and 2. See. I think the Dolphins will go 15 and 2. And then real quick, on the Broncos' side, they've been having a pretty sad season thus far. The Broncos' lineman did say, I've been here for seven years, and all I've done is lost. Well, listen, <laughs> this all started with Sean, <laughs> with Sean Payton, <laughs> Sean Payton <laughs> trying to get fucking... Yeah. fucking trying to motivate <laughs> him with, with, with negative reinforcement. Yeah, trying to tell him. He's trying to make... You try to make fucking Ralph Tresvan two pot. Listen, yeah. it ain't going to happen, bro. Yeah. Yo, you got to toughen up and all that, man. Listen, it ain't... Same thing I told you earlier. Tiger Woods should ain't go right since with his girl. And no disrespect, no disrespect to Sierra, but shit just ain't been going right since you've been around. Mm -hmm. Not football wise anyway. Right, At least y'all right. made the money. At least you haven't won since Sierra been there? No, not a Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> he said, no. Not uh, a Super Bowl. Yeah. What's happened? Well, Le'Veon, thank you for that being here. That was an ill one stat. The stat is over so like, <laughs> Well, things happen. The motherfuckers ain't winning. Yeah, yeah. Don't go CC on the bus. Never that, never that, never yeah. that. Le'Veon, thank you for nah, being thanks, here. Yeah. We nah, appreciate you, man. Thank you for coming by. That was all time, though. You on all. Welcome back anytime yeah. you want to come back, man. Let us know, bro. Yeah, we appreciate you. Yes. Nigga say he was playing with him and he and he started Chill, Don't bring it up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Chill it up. You gonna Chill see out. the clips. You gonna see the clips. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it ain't even gonna be us. Stay, it right. takes over the life of his own. <laughs>